Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessica and today's video is on this graphic fat liner look inspired by e-girl makeup. I partnered with Revlon to share some new products I've been loving, so if you're feeling the Halloween spirit, just keep watching. First, I'm using the Revlon Sharp Line Pen to create the bat wing eyeliner. I'm starting almost as if I'm doing a regular wing, but just a little bit higher. Below the first wing, I'm creating the second shorter spike. Repeat with the third spike and connect it to the end of your eye. Try to make the third spike shorter than I did though. I made it shorter on the other eye and I think it creates a better shape. You can make the spikes longer if you want it to be more dramatic. I'm next filling in the rest of the eyeliner and lash line. Using my eyelid as a reference, I'm outlining the fold and connecting that to the liner. I think this is the trickiest step, so make sure to take your time here. For subtle shimmer, I'm setting the eyeliner with a sparkly black eyeshadow from the new Revlon X Megan Thee Stallion Big Bad Palette. I rarely find good glitters in Western brand palettes, but these are so sparkly and so affordable. I'm lining my lower waterline with a red lip liner. I used to do this all the time. It adds an edgy pop of color, and I think red is flattering for all eye colors. Next, I'm prepping and doing my base as usual. I'm gonna speed through this, but if you wanna see more in depth about techniques and products I'm using, check out my last video. It's the exact same process. I'm using my favorite glitter shadow from the Big Bad palette as a highlighter. Taking this dark peach shade from the same palette, I'm applying that as blush on my nose to help contour the tip of it. I'm also taking the dark peach under my eyes, which helps blend in the red liner. Let's next line the upper waterline using the Color Stay eyeliner. I'm using the dark peach eyeshadow again as blush directly on my cheekbones. Next, let's curl our lashes and apply mascara. I'm using the So Fierce Big Bat Lash Mascara, which I think is the best drugstore volumizing mascara for sparse lashes. I rarely use volumizing mascaras because they're usually too heavy for my lashes, but this works so well for me. I apply lashes off camera, so let's move on to the lips. I'm using the Colorstay Lip Liner in Rose. For lipstick, I'm using the Revlon Super Lustrous Matte Lipstick in Black Cherry. I love this formula. It's matte but doesn't feel drying, so if you're a fan of matte lipsticks but hate the drying feeling, this is a really good affordable option. For finishing touches, I'm going to darken the blush slightly with a darker burnt sienna shade in the Big Bad palette and add fake moles. And this is the completed look. Thank you so much for watching and thanks again to Revlon for partnering with me on this look. If you made it to the end, like this video and let me know which graphic liner look I should try next. You can also follow me on Instagram at jessielux and I will see you in my next video.